Hey guys, welcome to Anthwood Movie Mania. I haven't been able to do this in a while because I've been in the middle of a house move, but today I'm going to be reviewing, discussing, and playing this vintage board game. Let's do this. That's right, today we are going to be reviewing Jumanji, starring the late great Robin Williams. Now the film came out in 1995, starring Robin Williams, Bonnie Hunt, Kirsten Dunst, and Jonathan, Pr Jonathan Pride. I was first seen this in the cinemas in 1995, and when I seen it, I thought, I need to have that game. Like I'm sure everyone my age now, who's in the 30s, will want that game. So, we're going to have a look. This is the classic VHS case, as you can see there. There you go, with the game on the side. And Jumanji. Now we have the Blu-ray edition. Which is pretty nice. Uh, shows the outline of the game itself on the top of the board. Turn it over. Just a pretty sleek background. Got Jumanji there in the middle. Now if I undo this, you've got the inlay of the board game. You've got the rules there. And then we have the disc itself. Take that out. And if you look, you can actually play the game itself in the, in the disc. So let's try and zoom in on the on the rules if you can. A little focus. No, it's not going to focus. Hang on, it might do. No. Anyway, we'll get to that. We'll get to the game anyway. But yeah, so there's the Blu-ray edition, which is really nice. I tell you what, while I get set it up, I'm going to leave this on the background. I'll let you watch that while I get set up. But so now we've watched, now we've seen like the Blu-ray and the VHS. We are going to play an exact scale replica of the game itself. And if you can see it there, and there's a full-blown shot. Now, but I got someone to make this for me on eBay, and it was a pretty penny. So here we go. Let's open it up. So let's start with the rules. Jumanji, the game for those who seek to find a way to leave their world behind. You roll the dice to make your move, to make your talk, and doubles get another ten. And the play first player to reach the end wins. You go over to the other side. Adventurers beware. Do not begin unless you intend to finish. The exciting consequences of the game will vanish when a player reaches Jumanji and calls out its name. So I'm going to go full skill shot now. And there it is. But. There we go, if you can see that. It's lit up in the middle. There you go. It's a bit of LED. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through the tokens. All right. I'm going to get them all out and then we'll go through them. So first off, we've got our monkey. Put him down. We've got our crocodile. Put him there. We've got our elephant. Put him there. We've got our rhino. We've got the two dice. And we have to actually play this game. We have got a full set of playing cards. So as you can see there, look. So I'll just go through a couple so you can read them. There you go. They fly at night. You better run. These winged things aren't much fun. Go forward two spaces and all other places move back one space. So there's one. This will not be an easy mission. Monkeys slow the expedition. All players go back three spaces. And they're even got printed 
Jumanji on the back. So these are like really good. Oh, he's a good one. This is the one. This is the card you want to get. Hunter from the Darkest World makes you feel just like a child. Everyone rolls the dice. If they move a six or seven, they were shot and killed. They must go back to the start. Keep this card and replay it at any point during the game. So that is the card to get. So if you're, everyone's near in the finish, just whack that card out and everyone has to go back to the beginning. So it's definitely. But yeah, but look, we've got all these. We've got look, all the. The riddles are from the the nineteen ninety five film, so it's just all the riddles from the film, and then underneath are actual game rules. So up to four players, four people can play this. So it's definitely worth playing if you have it, like myself. <laughs> but yeah, it costs like absolute fortune. So I'll give one go just to see how it goes. So I got what? Ooh, I got ten. Oh no, I didn't. I got 11. Dice is quite tricky, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And my card would be Beware of the ground on which you stand. The floor is much quicker than the sand. You fell into quicksand, miss a go. If you roll an even number on the dice, the player went to your left, fell in and tried to save you. You must miss a go, so must miss a go as well. So, it's a bit crap. But yeah. But yeah, all four players. So that's it. That is my Jumanji breakdown. So, as always, leave your comments and questions at the bottom of the page. If you liked it, if you want me to do another video, if you want me to play Jumanji again, or if you've got a film you want me to review, or anything like that, or if you've got anything unwanted in your movie collection that you think, oh, I might be in it, please message me i will be more than happy to put it in my display and put it up in a youtube video later later on and if i do another one just please let me know